Hi, welcome to the Cedra Smith MOSFET small signal analysis. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to derive the gain on a common drain. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, uh, in this case, the drain is common to the signal coming in through the gate, and then the signal comes out through the source. So the drain is common to both the gate and the source, so it's what this topology is called, is called the common drain. So that's, uh, I guess, the way they were named, and that uh, the, the terminal that wasn't used and was common to both is uh, as the reference. Anyway, I'm going to derive the, the the gain. Basically what we want to do is we want to get a voltage out versus voltage in. That would be the gain. Okay. And let me just talk real quick uh, some of the characteristics. may have misspelled it, but okay. Uh, on a common drain, there you usually don't have much amplification. Usually, you have less, or it's around one, a little bit less than unity. Okay. What you do have, you have current gain. In other words. The current that you get at the input is actually magnified. So this circuit is good if you want current gain. So typically this is going to be high. Okay. So if you want to amplify voltage, it's not a good voltage amplifier, but it is a good current amplifier. Okay. Another characteristic is that when you look in here. Zn is typically high. Okay. In this case, just by inspection, if you see, remember that if you look into the gate, you actually have a capacitor, CGS, and CGS is open. And assuming that this capacitor is shorted, so what you're really looking at is R1 and R2 in parallel. And typically you want to make R1 and R2 high. Okay. So you want to high. Let's go ahead and derive this. Go ahead and erase that. Okay. So again, uh, the voltage source any DC voltage source that's not a signal, you ground it. Okay. And then you redraw it using your small signal model. So you're going to have RG and your capacitors are shorted. Okay. So then you're going to have this combination. R1 in parallel with R2, RG, and you have your VGS and your plus here, and your negative there. You have your current source, which is going to be GM times VGS, and since this is AC ground basically okay and then this is connected to RE and you have RL connected in parallel so basically you have your gate source and 
frame. Okay, so you're ready to make a, an attempt to derive it. I guess we'll give it a try. Okay, so uh, like I mentioned, I like to use this procedure. So when I say VGS, oh, basically define VGS. Okay, and when you say VGS, what you're actually saying, you're taking actually a differential voltage, which is VG minus VS. Okay, so let's calculate what VG would be. And if you look in here, this is basically a capacitor, so there's no current. So the only thing you have is you're going to have two resistors, and basically it's a current divider, uh, voltage divider. Okay, so this is Vn. So you would write this as Vn times. And what I'm going to do is, instead of writing all of this, I'll say that this is equal to. Uh, R RT RT is a, is equal to the R1 in parallel with R2. Okay, just to make the things a little bit more easier. Okay, so we'll say that it's RT divided by RG plus R. Okay, so that's VG. Okay, so now write an equation for VS, and VS is right there. VS, this is VG, VD. Now, if you look in here, you have current going through here, and VS is actually the current going through these two resistors. Okay, so that would be GM VGS, and since it's flowing in this direction, this is a plus, that's a negative. So it's GM VGS times, and I'll go ahead and say that it's RE in parallel with RL. Okay. We have that, so we try to plug that in. So we got Vn RT RG RT, and it's going to be minus GM VGS RE parallel with with uh, the load resistor. Okay, if you notice we have a VG here and a VGS here. So we solve for that. Solve for VGS. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, if I bring this to the other side I'll have a one plus GM RE with RL is equal to VN RT RG plus RT. So now we get VGS is equal to EN RT RG RT and we will write all of this here. We have the one plus GM RE in parallel with RL. Okay, so now we have So 
already defined. Okay, so now we look at the schematic. Okay, we said that this is V out. Well, V out is actually VS. Right, so we can write an equation for V out. And we said that it's VS. And if you recall, VS is supposed to be GM VGS times RE parallel with RL. So basically, now all we have to do is sub that in here. So we have the GM RE parallel with RL. RG plus RT. Right. Let's see. Did I get everything? It's going to be. Yeah. It should be like that. So then we get 1 plus GM. R E or with R L and I believe that should be close to the equation. Okay. Oh, of course V N is here. So we'll just move back here and erase it from here. should have our voltage gain. Okay. So let me uh, see if this can be simplified. Simplified. Okay. So Remember, I had mentioned that you want this resistance to be as high as possible. You actually want this resistance to be low. That way, you get the maximum transfer function or voltage transfer. So, let's assume this resistor was not there. Okay. Then Vn is th is actually equal to Vg. And if that's the case, this section goes away. Or this that section goes away. Okay, so you can simplify that and say, okay, and I'll I'll say that it's approximately, okay, and the reason I'm doing this is you'll see. What I get since this goes to to one, you end up with one plus GM RE parallel with RL. Okay. Now I don't know if it's it's popping out at you, but remember above I said that the voltage gain is approximately one. Okay, by doing that little simplification, you can see this is one, and if I remove that, guess what? See, that's one. So by putting a one in here, it's actually a b is actually uh, less than than one or approximately I'll just say that it's a little bit less than one. It cannot be more than one, but it's approaches close to one. But it'll never be one. So anyway, there's a simplified and here's a an exact equation if you don't simplify. But I simplified it just to show that to show this property that 
uh, in this case, even this, if you plug in the numbers, uh, you'll never be able to get one. You're always going to be less than unity. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully 